of a cliff Realize there must be more to life than this Reaching for the stars, traveling so far Like a dragonfly, just grow my head Hi you guys, if you want to um, achieve this really smoky night out you can even be bold and do it for a date night or you know just do your thing do this whenever you want to do it but anyway if you want to achieve this look then just keep watching and do not forget to hit that like and subscribe button and if you hit the bell it'll notify you every time I upload a video okay we're gonna start off by going ahead and prepping our skin to get it ready for the makeup we're gonna go ahead and moisturize it and for my eyes for this I'm gonna be using that um, a more specific moisture bond rejuvenating eye treatment gel right here and it just looks like that it's like a clear white I'm just gonna get a little bit and I'm gonna put it underneath my eyes and then I'm gonna bring a little bit of the excess on my lids and later on because we'll probably have to clean up for my eyeshadow I will put the I'm moisturizer on underneath my eyes again because I'm sure we will have to clean up and I want to make sure that they are very moisturized and then for my uh, face I'm going to be using my Estee Lauder Daywear the multi-protection antioxidant 24 hour moisture cream and this does have an SPF of 15 it just looks like this I'm going to get a little bit. We're going to go ahead and put that all over our face. And I usually um, also put this on my neck as well. Because I do want my neck moisturized very well. And honestly, I'll bring the excess on my ears just because why not? And you always want to have your skin moisturized no matter if you're oily, if you're dry, if you're combo, if you have perfect skin you want to be moisturized. You always want to be moisturized. Even when you take off your makeup off, you want to be moisturized. You don't ever want to not have something on your skin. And then I'm going to go ahead and put my Lucas Papa ointment on my lips. And I'm going to get a little bit, I seriously get the tiniest amount, like you cannot even see that on my finger because a little goes a long way. And so we have that on. And we're, I'm going to go ahead and, I think we're going to go more for a smoky, this is a night out. You could wear this on a date, whatever you want. You can wear this in the daytime, it doesn't matter because makeup has no rules, okay? So first off, I'm gonna be using that Smashbox The Hood Witch Photo Finish Love Ritual Primer Water. This is in Jasmine and Rose. <clears throat> it just looks like this right here. And I love this, I've loved it so far since I've been using it. And I just squirt this all over my face and I do spray a pretty good amount. I'm gonna go ahead and spray that. So to go ahead and prime my eyes, I will be going ahead and using the NARS Smudge Proof um, eyeshadow base. It just looks like this. It's very uh, sleek. It's, I don't think it's focusing on that. And it just has a little wand like this. And I do just put this all over my eyelid. And then I will go ahead and rub that in. Standing on the edge of a And then also I use another primer for my eyes. It's the Kat Von D High Voltage Eye Primer in Prime and Correct. Now you don't have to use both of these and you can definitely use just one, one or the other. If I was using one or the other, I would probably use the NARS one. But I don't know, I love them both. Or if you don't have any eye primer at all, just use some concealer. And then I just get a little bit of melt on my eyelids. Edge of a cliff. Realize.
realize there must be more to life than this reaching for the stars traveling so far like a dragon and today for our look i think i'm just going to be using one eye palette to try to keep it um, easier because this palette has so much in it that you can make so many looks out of and it's the smashbox full exposure palette right here and you open it up and it has a mirror and then it just looks like this and the whole bottom row is matte and the whole top row is shimmer I don't know if you can tell that and it also comes with a brush which I have not used yet so I don't know how well that works but it actually looks pretty promising but we're going to be using this so to go ahead and set my eye primer I'm going to be using the Morphe M412 brush you can really use any brush to set um, your primer because the brush doesn't matter so much with this process now brushes do matter on the rest but this it's not really doing much it's just setting it and for that I'm going to be using this lightest shade in the Smashbox palette right here I'm just going to be getting a little on my brush and then I'm going to set that primer Traveling so far Like a dragonfly Just grab my hand From him sin With me tonight So we're going to go ahead and be using our transition shade And for this I'm going to be using the Morphe M441 brush right here And I'm going to be using this shade right here in the Smashbox palette the second to last on the bottom row. Well, actually, it's technically the second one, not the second to last. I'm looking at it backwards. And so for this, I'm just going to be putting this in our crease. Realize there must be more to life than this. Reaching for the stars, traveling so far. Like a dragonfly, just grab my hand from him in. And for this right here, I really did bring it out a lot further than what I'm going to keep it out. Just because I want that there because I do plan to keep it out a little further than normal. And I did really, really um, build this color up. And then, so we're going to look a little crazy during the process, but we're going to clean ourselves up. And then we're going to look fun and we're going to look like we're ready to go. We're going to look great. So I'm going to be using the brush Morphe M433 brush right here and I think I'm going to go in with this is now the second to last shade right here in the Smashbox Expo Full Exposure Palette and we're really going to be focusing this shade below the first shade we had put on. Go lightheaded with this because it is pretty pigmented and you can always build up. Um, it's a lot harder to take it away. So just go pretty lighthanded with it and just really build the color up where you want it to be. Dragonfly, just grab my hand from him sin. with our Morphe M441 brush. I'm going to get that very first shade we used right here because I feel like it's starting to get lost in the look. And I'm going to put this up um, where it was originally at and then I'm going to blend it into it just to blend everything together. <laughs> Forget the past 
And then now I'm going to be using our Morphe M124 brush right here. It's really good for packing um, colors on. And we may, after we do this, we may end up going with a darker color to really put depth in here. But I believe I'm going to try um, at the very top or the very last shade right here, this really pretty shimmery blue but gray in a way eyeshadow it's very pretty and um i'm just gonna take that morphe brush and we're really gonna pack it on our lid and for the most part i'm pretty much bringing this shimmer pretty much almost all the way to the end of my eye I don't want this to, um, I don't want to go halfway with it. I want to go a little further than halfway to really give us a really smoky look and to really make this blue grayish shimmery really pop on the, um, the eye. Uh. We'll never forget the past, but what counts is our brand new start. Or I get scared Just come take this risk now We'll be prepared I run away So now that we've got that I did bring it just slightly above Right here I don't know if you can really tell Just because I'm going to put a darker shade right here And I'm really going to blend that out into the look To um Really get lost in there with it And for that, I'm going to be using the Morphe E18 brush right here. I don't know necessarily if I'm going to go with the black right here, but I'm going to try first the very first color on the bottom row, that um, kind of espresso -y color. I'm going to try that first before we go in with the, a black to see if we can make that work. And I'm just going to be putting it... In between our shimmer blue color and the other shade, I don't want to go above that. This is really just going to have everything blend together and give it a little bit more depth. We'll never forget the past, but what counts is our brand new start. Even if it hurts me or I get scared Just come take this risk now We'll be prepared I run away And then I'm going to go back in with my Morphe M433 brush right here and I'm going to get just a lot of mail of this shade right here beside the black just to blend everything better together Forget the past what counts is our brand new start Even if it hurts me or I get scared Just come take the and Lastly, we're going to go back in with our Morphe M441 brush Get that very first shade we used right here We're going to put that on top of everything And just really use this to blend everything out For the stars, traveling so far Like a dragonfly my blue shimmer because I accidentally rubbed a little off with my same brush Morphe M124 with that same shimmery blue shade and um, as long as you don't mess yours up or rub it off then you're not going to have to go back in and fix it and do not worry about any fallout that's on your face because we are going to clean that up so don't worry about it.
And so now that we have that done, we do look a little crazy and that's okay because we're gonna completely fix this. And with that, I'm just gonna use a round cotton little pad and I'm gonna put some um, Bioderma Missler water right here. And I'm just gonna put a little bit on um, my little cotton pad here. And um, this is where we'll go in and we'll do any cleanup. And I really like this as well because it does help remove makeup, but it also acts as a toner and everything. So it's really good. And this right here is where you're just gonna um, really make the shape of what eye you want to have. You can make it go further out. You can bring it um, closer in. You can do whatever is your preference here. But really just make sure you clean any fallout up that you have. I'm standing on the edge of a cliff Realize there must be more to life than this Reaching for the stars, traveling so far Like a dragonfly Just grab my head from him And then I'm just using a dry rag just to really dab that off You don't have to, it's just what I prefer and then I'm gonna go back in and um, use my moist eye moisturizer again and just dab a little bit on underneath my eyes because I did pretty much rub it all off just now. And then I'm gonna be using my Inglot um, 31T brush right here. It's just that ankled eyeliner brush. And then I'm gonna go in with my Maybelline New York Eye Studio um, gel liner. And it just looks like this. It's in a little pomade thing. And we're going to be putting um, some eyeliner on. I don't know if I'm going to wing it out yet. I may. And we're just going to get a little bit on our brush. And we're going to start in the inner corner and really just um, put this on our top lash line right here. From and to really get in the inner corner, it helps if you slightly open the eye and um, really get in there. And I think I'm gonna do a little bit of a wing. So I went ahead and done my waterline, so I'm just gonna really make my line where I want it at and just really make it as thick or thin as I want and connect it. sure that this water is where I want it to be what it's gonna look like with my false lashes so I'm just slightly going to hold these up there we'll never forget the past but what counts is that and then I'm just gonna go ahead and get a little bit more on my brush and repeat the exact same thing on the other eye Gibson. So now that we've done that, we may go back in and fix our wing just a little bit more later on. For right now, we're just gonna leave it and we're gonna go ahead and use our Smashbox, the Hood Witch, Photo Finish, Love Ritual, Primer, Water, and Jasmine and Rose. And we're gonna go ahead and spray it on our face. And 
And this stuff, seriously, it feels so amazing. And then um, I'm also gonna be using my Makeup Forever Step One Skin Equalizer. This is the smoothing primer. And I really just focus this on my T-zone area. Just get a little bit. And I put it on my cheeks and on my nose. And I will um, put a little bit on my chin and a little bit on my forehead. But I'm going to really focus this on my cheeks, the beginning of my cheeks and my nose. Because that's really where I have the worst pores at. Okay, and for foundation, I'm going to be using the Too Faced Born This Way. It's um, in the shade Warm Beige is what I have. And you just take the cap off, and it has a little pump. And for this, I'm going to be using my Damp Beauty Blender. I'm going to squirt some on my hand. That's just one pump. That's what I'm going to be um, working off for now. I'll probably add more just because a lot does come out with the pumps of this. And we're hoping that the shade is close enough or a match for us. Because it used to be, and then up, been to the beach and been tanning and everything. So we're gonna make it work no matter what. But it's not too off. <laughs> For the stars, traveling so far Like a dragonfly Keep your secrets there Keep them everywhere Just you and I I run away I run blended out into her skin I am going to be um, testing out something new today that will probably come as a big shocker because this is the most hopped up concealer and raved about concealer and why I haven't tried it for whatever reason I'm not sure of but I'm sure you probably all already know what it is it's the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer right here and I just got the shade light medium I hope it's the shade I need I hope that it's going to work for, for me but it just looks like this and you just open it and pull it out and it's just a little wand so i will tell you guys in the end of what i think of it so far once we have tried it out however i don't know and i don't know why i've never tried this because it's so raved about but we're just going to put this underneath our eye in a triangle and then also down our nose and on our chin and forehead Reaching for the stars, traveling so far like a trap. And then we're gonna be using our beauty blender right here and we're just gonna blend that out. Honestly, you guys, a little of that stuff seriously went a long way. I'm going to be using this BoxyCharm Eyeshadow P15 brush just to get in the inner corner of my eye and get that concealer um, in there and blend it out. So, I did put way too much concealer because a little of that seriously went a long way. Reaching for the stars, traveling so far Like a dragonfly Just grab my hand and then to set our concealer and our foundation we put on, I'm going to be using the Too Faced 
Born This Way um, setting powder right here. It's just in the shade Translucent. Now, this did come with a little um, fold over thing. I don't even know what it was called. However, I tore it off because it was really frustrating and got in my way. So, it just looks like this. It's just translucent powder. I'm going to go ahead and wipe this foundation and concealer off of my lips. And then I just get a little bit on my sponge and I really just go set everything in on my face. A cliff. Realize there must be more to life than this. Reaching for the stars. Traveling so far. Like a dragonfly. Just grab my hand from him sin. this I don't have a different one let me just show you guys I don't really know what the difference is they're both tart pro glow pack they're both tart pro glow I don't know but this is the one I'm gonna be trying today oh there's the plastic this one just looks like that has little mirrors on the side now this is the one that I have used and loved for a very long time, as you can tell. I don't know what the difference is because they both are just pro glue on the front. Not sure, I think this one um, has blushes, whereas that one does not. So we're gonna be trying it. I don't know how it's gonna work out, but we're gonna try the contouring. It looks a little too orangey for me. But we're going to be using our NARS brush right here to contour our cheeks with this right here. Um, this, maybe this isn't contour. We're not going to use that for the sake of, I'm not sure what that's supposed to be. We're going to be going in with my other one and using uh, the shade Sculpt right here. And I'm just going to be contouring um, my cheeks. And then I'll go uh, my job on. Of a cliff, realize there must be more to life than this. Reaching for the stars, traveling so far, like a dragonfly. Just grab my hand from him sin. And then I'm also going to be um, using that same thing for my nose and underneath my lip. And to do that, I'm going to be using the e.l.f. eyeshadow C brush right here. contour out with the morphe m462 brush i'm not going to probably completely blend it out because i'm going to go back in and blend it a little better later when we blend everything else together and then i'm going to go ahead and bronze my face and use the physician's formula in deep bronzer the butter bronzer this is so good and i'm going to be using my tarte mermaid brush right here just to really um contour this up. I mean to bronze it up. I cannot get over the smell. It smells like coconuts. So good. It smells like the beach. Okay. And again, we just do this in the shape of a three when we bronze. Of a cliff Realize there must be more to life than this Reaching for the stars Traveling so far Dragonfly, just grab my hand from him sin. And, me and then once you've got all bronzed up to your standards, um, we will definitely blend that out. And then I'm going to go ahead and try this first Tardis 
Pro palette that I originally said I was going to. And for this, I'm going to be using the top right uh, blush right here. And for that, I'm going to be using my Morphe E4 brush. We shall see. Definitely pink. And then I'm going to go ahead and blend this all out by using my Morphe M462 brush. I'm standing on the edge of a cliff. Realize there must be more. And then I'm going to go back in with my damp beauty blender and my Too Faced translucent powder. And we're going to carve out um, where our contour is at. And and we're just gonna let that bake and while we let that bake we're gonna go ahead and highlight her face and i'm gonna be using the anastasia a23 brush for that and i'm gonna be using the new um pro palette right here and honestly i'm just gonna mix these two because that's too light i think for me and that's a little too pinky we're gonna hope for the best with it though just gonna mix these two be more to life than this reaching for the stars traveling so far like a dragonfly just grab my hand from him sin Okay, so I did uh, help out my cheeks, up in here, my chin, my nose, my uh, my cupid's bow, and my chin. And it does have a lot of pigmentation of it. It definitely does highlight it. But we're going to go ahead and blend it out with our M462 Morphe brush. Traveling so far, like a drag. And then we're going to dust our bag away. So we're looking like that so far. That highlight's a little bit wider than I typically would want it. It's okay. We're gonna make it work. And then we're gonna go ahead and put some eyeshadow on our lower lash line. And for this, I am going to be using our Smashbox Full Exposure Palette. And I'm gonna be using this Espresso shade right here. And I'm gonna be using our brush M432 and we're gonna um, just pack out on our lower lash line. Life than this, reaching for the stars, traveling so far, like a dragonfly, just grab my hand from him sin. M515 little brush right here. We're going to be using this shade right here to really um, blend and smoke that out. And I am going to fix my eyeliner because earlier I did um, accidentally get a little bit concealer on it. So I'm just going to be using that Inglot brush right here in the same Maybelline eyeliner, or yeah, eyeliner, and I'm just going to fix it. Live, realize there must be more to life than this. Reaching for the stars, traveling so far, like a dragonfly. Just grab my hand from him sin. And then um, for the top waterline, I'm going to be using my NYX Retractable Eyeliner in black. And I'm just going to be lifting my eyelid up and putting it on my waterline. Life than this, reaching for the stars, traveling so far, like a drag. And then for the bottom, I don't necessarily like black on my waterline. So I'm actually going to be using the brown one, the same NYX Retractable one. It's just going to be brown and I'm going to do my lower waterline. 
And then I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna do our eyebrows. And of course, I'm gonna be using Mama Lani Brow Fix Kit right here. It's in the shade 01 Light. And I'm gonna be using my billion dollar eyebrow brush. It has a spoolie and then just a brush on the other end. And I'm gonna be using this lighter shade right here. Of a cliff, realize there must be more to life than this. Reaching for the stars, traveling so far, like a dragonfly. Just grow my head from him sin. brush it's just an angled brush and I'm gonna be using our Tarte Shape Tape concealer and I'm gonna go in and clean it up realize there must be more to life than this reaching for the stars traveling so far like a dragonfly just grab my head from him sin with me tonight Anastasia Clear Brow Gel right here. Just has a little spoolie thing. We're just really going to set those into place. And I'm going to be um, using a Tarte Mermaid Brush again. And I'm going to mix these same highlighters that I used on my face together right here and i'm just gonna hop out my brow bone if realize there must be more to life than this reaching for the and then in a way it's gonna probably have like a blue tint because it's gonna blend in with that eyeshadow right there which is perfectly fine and then we are going to be using our eyelash curler which is right here my favorite mascara on which is my cover all uh, flash blast volume right here. I'm gonna put that on first. So you can go in whatever order you want. You can do mascara first, or you can do your falsies first. And we're just gonna put some on. Of a cliff, realize there must be more to life than this. Reaching for the stars, traveling so far, like a dragonfly. Just grab my head. And then I'm going to be using my um, Benefit Roller Lash right here. And I'm only doing this because I was just to really show you don't have to just put falsies on. You can just do mascara and you can be done.
mascara applied. And after you're done with these, you can really just go ahead and um, literally walk out the door, be done after you put your lip on. However, I'm not going to. I'm gonna go ahead and put my Ardo Wispies on and I did tear one of them off already. But they're just like this. Um, and for this, I'm gonna be using my Duo brush on adhesive with vitamins lash glue and it just looks like this it, i love it it's perfect for me to use and then i'm going to be using my tweezer man tweezers to go ahead and apply them so we are going to go ahead and put our little falsies on i'm going to go ahead and put the lash glue on it just grab my head from him said this is the difference with the false lash and this is the difference without it i feel like it just gives it a little bit more drama um but you can definitely do it without the lash completely and totally up to you so now we're just going to do the same thing on the other eye the lies there must be more to life than this reaching for the stars traveling so far like a dragonfly just grab my head him sin with me tonight I'm going to be using the Kat Von D in the shade Sanctuary. It's just right here. It's a very pretty shade. And we're just going to put this on our lips. I'm standing on the edge of a cliff. Realize there must be more to life than this. Reaching for the stars, traveling so far. Dragonfly, just grab my head from him sin. the shade morphe m165 brush i'm just going to be using um the tart concealer life than this reaching for the stars traveling so far like a dragonfly just grab my head from him sin using that Anastasia Dewy set right here and we're just going to set our face. It just smells like 
coconuts. Mm. And then now our look is, and then now our look is officially completed. So if you just want to look like this, then just go ahead and give it a test out.